News 4 Tucson's Paul Sakala had the chance to speak with one of the four remaining code talkers, and he joins us now with more. There are only four Navajo code talkers from World War II still alive today, and all of them are in their 90s. And on this very special day, I had the chance to speak to one of them. Peter McDonald is also from right here in Arizona. We, Navajo Code Talkers, were part of that many, using our native language to help win the war in the Pacific. Words spoken with sheer pride for Peter McDonald, former chairman of the Navajo Nation and World War II veteran, who's also remembered for articulating a similar sentiment during a Take visit order. with President Open Donald options. Trump. This Navajo code is terrific. The enemy never understood it, he said. We don't understand it either, but it works. So much so that the Navajo code talkers played a pivotal role in relaying intelligence back and forth without the Japanese military able to intercept and decipher the messages. To protect it, take care of it, and preserve the freedom and liberty that this country gives us. Despite being alongside fellow U.S. Marines, Navajo code talkers and other minorities in uniform were heavily discriminated against during that era. Racism that exists in 1940 is still here with us today, only in dif different form. But McDonald was quick to point out to me, America, we know, is composed of diverse community. We have different languages, different skills, different talents, and different religion. But when our way of life is threatened, we come together as one. And when we come together as one, we are invincible. As for August 14th, going down as the National Navajo Code Talker Day? Yes. It gives all of us great pride and good feeling. And to Mr. McDonald, Ashehe, which means thank you in the Navajo native language. Thank you for your service. We've got you covered. Paul C. Kala, News 4, Tucson.